my God. So let's talk controversy, shall we? Now, before I get started, let me just say that I'm someone where I'm a very open-minded person. Now, what I mean by that, and I always say this, is I'm someone where I have my opinions on certain topics and I say it in a respectable and, uh, how should I say? I say what I have to say in a respectable and mannerly fashion. Now, I'm someone where I have my views on certain topics but I'm open to hear other people's views, whether they agree with me or not. That is what I think a true open-minded person is. When someone may have a disagreement with your views, but you still hear them out. When you want to shut someone out and say, I don't want to hear it. That just shows me how close-minded you are. And that, that shows me that you just want to hear what you have to say. And you don't want to educate yourself to someone who may have a different opinion than you. Let's have an open discussion. That's all I have to say now. What I'm gonna say, some people may agree with, some people may not, but I'm going to say it in a respectable way. I'm gonna say it, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying it. The things I say, I feel like have a, I try my best to say things that actually have substance to it. I'm not just saying, I'm not, I'm not just spewing out stupid, retarded crap, just, just to spew out crap. You know what I'm saying? So. So I watch many people on YouTube, whether they have the same views as me, whether they have opposing views in me, but I was still, I'm, and even in, even in life, you know, there's people that have the same views as me. There's some people that don't, but I still hear both sides because I'm not a biased person where all I want to hear is the views that, that correlate with me. I'm someone where I like to hear someone who have opposite views in me so I can get educated in the way they think. Now. Let's start on this topic. Um, so let's talk about this whole Gillette commercial stuff. Now, okay, as a man, yes, a man, was I offended by the, by the video? No. I feel like the retards that get offended by this video are also the retards that get offended when Starbucks releases a red cup on Christmas or holiday but it doesn't have a snowflake, a Santa Claus, or a fucking snowman, and they want to go in an outrage. It's a fucking cup. A fucking cup. Let me know why you're outraged by that. I'd really like to know that. But anyway, let's talk about this commercial. It was my retarded neighbors. Now, let's talk about this commercial. So this commercial was basically consisting of, you know, teaching men to do better, to be better people, to stop assaulting, to stop sexually assaulting, to stop bullying, to stop being abusers, blah, blah, blah. That's what I kind of got out of the video, like stop with the toxic masculinity, da, 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 da. Or treat women better, treat other people better. And, you know, they kind of made men to seem like the oppressors. They seemed men, they saw, they, you know, made men feel like they were the ones that were like, we were like the, hor we were like the horrible people. We were the ones that were raping the women. We're the ones who bully the children. We're the ones, we're like, as little kids, we bully other kids and all that stuff. Now, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. But I think what Gillette also failed to mention was the fact that women can also bully kids when you're when you're a kid girls can bully boys okay um men can also get sexually assaulted or raped by a woman or a man also in relationships Men can be abused as well, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever you want to call it. So I feel like that was overlooked. I felt that. Sorry, that was my friend. So I feel that they failed to overlook the fact that men can experience these things too. 
men can experience getting catcalled or or sexually sexually harassed or sexually abused. So it's like, so I just feel like you know, don't invalidate men and their experiences. And I get why the commercial was made. I get that the whole Me Too movement has been because you know there's been so much uh, news and media about this whole like you know with well with the Bill Cosby assaulting the women and now like this I forgot that other guy and then the Sony guy and then fucking R Kelly so it's like it's a lot but also not so long ago there was a sexual assault case with Kevin Spacey and I, I think that's his name and he was assaulting other guys and the guys were coming forward yet that wasn't like men can also be raped as well so when so when someone wants to tell a man teach men not to rape or teach men not to be bullies or teach men not to uh us like assault women or uh, oppress women or don't teach men to uh, up, uh what is that called uh what's that word give me one second um objectify women guess what men can also be objectified by men or women men can also be abused by men and what by men or women so it's just like I just feel that you know I just feel like it just totally invalidated the men's experience too where they can get this too maybe not have men do better how about everyone does better how about that how about that like how about in this fucked up world how about we all become a little bit more uh, humane how about that? So I just didn't get, I got the point of the video. I was not offended at all. I just felt like, and people, like in the people that support the video, you know, I'm like, there's, I, there's a LGBT people, people that I follow that kind of supported the video. And I was just like, okay, like, but did y'all forget that men can also have this experience as well? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I just felt like it was just you want to know the meaning of sexist you want to know the you want to know what was sexist that video yes and guess what people can also be sexist against men even though the cases of being sexist against men the case of men getting sexually assaulted or abused although they're not as common it still happens you, you know what I'm saying so it's just like the fact that that was just totally swept under the rug and like, yeah, let's not talk about men's experiences. Let's talk about how men are just horrible people and they need to do better. Okay. And I, and I don't get like, of course, I get the whole like toxic masculinity, da 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 da. But all of y'all, I'm not even going to say it. All of you need to go watch Blair White's video. She made a video basically saying, why can everyone say, stop with the toxic masculinity? Why don't we start saying, how about you stop with the toxic femininity? Why has it become such a normal thing to say, let's stop with the toxic masculinity? And then, I don't know. I would suggest to watch Blair White's video. Uh, she did a Gillette commercial reaction and her thoughts on it as well. And she pointed out a perfect example about why you tell men to tone down their masculinity. Why don't you tell... Uh, when women are told to tone why okay here it is she makes a video basically saying like why are men being told to simmer down their toxic ma their masculinity when women aren't being told to tone down their femininity you know what I'm saying and and like I said I don't really have much to say except like I said men can do better guess what we all could do better um, I just feel that um, men can also go through this too. Same, and I get it. Like women, of course, it's a higher number in women, but guess what? It also happens with men too. And I feel like a lot of the time too, when men um, are being sexually assaulted, abused, when they're in abusive relationships, is never really taken as seriously, or they keep their mouths shut and don't say anything. You know, there's been many cases where women abuse men too. You know, so it's just that I don't. I didn't really get why they made a whole commercial regarding how men are these awful people generalizing men to be that way when guess what women can also be like that too I don't know that was just my opinion on it again this is my opinion 
I'm just and by the and like I said, these are all I like I said, I'm someone where I look at both sides of the coin. So I have my views and I could totally see everyone else's view who supports the video where, you know, it's this video is important because women are getting the brunt of all this. So maybe we should teach men to stop doing this. But in the case, it's, it's not just men that have this that have this characteristic. It's basically women too who have this too. Women aren't the ones, women aren't the ones getting, women aren't the only, only gender getting oppressed. Men can also get oppressed too. Whether if it's being characterized with stupid shit like that, being, with men being categorized as the abusers, being this, uh, being the rapists and all that stuff. It's like, no, rapists come with everyone. Like rape, rape people, there's no gender for who rapes, you know what I'm saying? There's no gender for who abuses. There's no gender for who bullies. Anybody could be a bully. Anybody could be a racist. Anybody, a racist. Anybody could be a rapist. Anybody can be an oppressor. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it doesn't just happen within one gender. It happens with all. It can be anybody. You know what I'm saying? So to categorize men into just being all these horrible people, I just felt like was kind of inaccurate, if that's lack of a better term. But again, Gillette do what they want to do. They have the money to make their commercials, whatever. Like I said, I did not find it offensive in any way. It take I don't know, the last, I, I don't even remember the last time I ever got offended. I'm not someone, I'm, I'm a person where I don't really get offended that easily. I don't get embarrassed that easily. I'm someone where I just like, I don't care. Like, I don't even give a fuck anymore. It's just like, you do you boo, I do me. If we want to have an open debate, that's okay too. It's just like, like I said, I'm someone where I respect anybody's opinion, whether they have, but if they have a actual legit argument or a legit, uh, they have legit substance to their argument. You know what I'm saying? If they're just saying, oh, I hate, uh, like I hate blonde people because they're stupid or I hate blonde people because I just hate blonde people. Like that's not a valid argument. Like have substance and have like have your reasonings to back up your argument. You know, it's all about like, what's your argument? What's your evidence? What's your opinion? What's your perception? What's your perspective? You know what I'm saying? So like I said, this is just my perception on this whole situation. You don't have to agree with it, but whatever. But that's just what I thought. It was just like, okay, real cute. Anyway. That's all I got to say, perro say. So until next time, bye.